This ECG tutorial was written to help you to spot patterns on patients' ECGs. Every ECG is recorded and displayed in the same way. It displays the electrical activity in a patient's heart across a 10 second period. The electrical activity is displayed on 12 graphs, the 12 leads of the ECG. Each of these individual leads refers to an electrical camera which is pointed at a different place on the patient's heart. It's not conventional to box off the individual graphs of the 12 lead ECG, and this is one of the reasons that it looks so complex to the beginner. In this tutorial, we'll show you each of the individual graphs to help you to see what you're looking at. Let's start by reminding ourselves of the names of the leads. On the right hand side of the ECG are the six chest leads. These are simply named in order, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6. On the left hand side of the ECG are the six limb leads. The naming here isn't quite so simple, but on the left are leads 1, 2 and 3. And adjacent to them are the leads AVR, AVL and AVF. Each of the individual leads of the ECG are recorded and displayed for only one quarter of the 10 second duration of the ECG, i.e. 2.5 seconds. It's therefore conventional to display a longer 10 second recording from one of the leads at the bottom of the ECG. This usually comes from lead 2 and is known as the rhythm strip. As the name suggests, we use this to look at abnormalities of rhythm. As you can see from this rhythm strip, the patient's heart beat 13 times during the 10 seconds that this ECG took to record. Each of these individual heartbeats is recorded four times. As you can see, any ECG complex immediately above or below another refers to the same heartbeat. Now we've identified the 12 graphs or leads on the ECG, let's remind ourselves where they're being recorded from. Let's start with the limb leads on the left hand side of the ECG. These graphs all record from electrical cameras pointing at the sides, top and bottom of the patient's heart. Here, lead 1 looks into the left hand side of the patient's heart. Here is lead 2. It looks up the patient's left leg into the bottom left of the heart. And lead 3 looks up the patient's right leg into the bottom right hand side of the heart. Lead AVR looks from high above the patient's right shoulder into the top right of the heart. AVL from high above the left shoulder into the top left of the heart. And lead AVF straight up between the patient's legs at the bottom of their heart. Next, let's look at the six chest leads which look into the patient's heart like arrows stuck through the patient's chest. Firstly, lead V1 looks into the patient's heart from the front just off to the right. Imagine each of the chest leads recording through an arrow stuck straight through one of the stickers stuck to the patient's chest wall. Each therefore records subsequently further round towards the patient's left, as each of the stickers is stuck further round towards the patient's left armpit. In this view, you can clearly see how the limb leads and chest leads differ. The limb leads, the purple arrows, record the left, right, top and bottom of the patient's heart. The chest leads record the front rotating round to left hand side of the patient's heart. You could also note that some of the arrows look pretty similar, for example lead 1, AVL and V6. We can therefore assign groups of leads which look at different aspects of the patient's heart. Three main groups are referred to in clinical practice. The inferior leads refer to the bottom of the patient's heart. The anterior leads refer to the front of the patient's heart. And the lateral leads refer to the left hand side of the patient's heart. In this tutorial, we've reminded ourselves what the 12 leads of the ECG are and how they're displayed on the printout. In order to competently read an ECG, you need to know this information. But as with any other skill, 
The key is practice, so it's time to start looking at some more ECGs.